Hi, I'm Josh Allen, Red Guy at Companion. I am here with my very good friend, Mark Erker from Catering St. Louis, and we are introducing uh, the first bread in our collaborative three series, Muffaletta. In addition to the iconic boathouse, where we're going to be working with you on this particular bread, tell me a little bit about what else you guys have your hands in. Catering St. Louis runs about 11 properties in St. Louis, mostly in this area where we are now and mostly around Forest Park. So we're mostly in events as well as some restaurants. So we're doing a muffaletta. That's the, what we decided to do when we kind of got together to collaborate. It fit in well with the menu at the boathouse. Muffaletta is traditionally a Sicilian sesame bread that started um, and became synonymous with a sandwich that was famous from the Central Grocery in New Orleans. I'm gonna cut it in half, and then we're gonna go from there, right? So the easiest way to cut a bread like this in half is to cut in a circle and to kind of spin it as you go and hope that when you come around to the other side, you've got a loaf cut in half. So now it's on you. This particular one does an olive salad. We're using mainly green olives, which is the Central Grocery Classic, and we like kind of a coarse olive which is really nice um, because you really want it to be, since it's an, really called an olive salad, you want the olives to be pretty big and the giardina. And then we do a roasted red pepper, some scallions, uh, capers, garlic, um, a little bit of red chili peppers and parsley. And then a little bit of nice vir extra virgin olive oil mixed with it. And that's pretty much how mostly you would make any kind of olive salad. Like anything, when you make a salad like this, it's best to let it sit overnight, if not a week. And you take a generous amount, so this is not something that you should be sh shy about. We use three types of meats with this, capicola, mortadella, and a salami. Then it's pretty much just going ahead and getting them on the sandwich. Not too complicated. If you can make a pizza, you can make this. Right, and it's terrific. I mean, like the whole idea with the collaborative program, everything local, everything close by. The bakery's within five miles of the boathouse. Volpe's within five miles. So you're keeping everything very local, very fresh, which we think is absolutely terrific. The last thing we use is cheese. I prefer a sharp provolone. Then we add on the top to finish off the sandwich and to get more of this great olive salad. It, it really is a soft bread that really soaks in this oil and this flavor. And then the trick is getting this on there. And then you really just kind of press it all together. This will kind of mesh everything. And that's pretty much it. We well, gotta cut, cut into it. that so we can try it and also well, make sure that it looks good. We're right? gonna do that for sure. <laughs> This sandwich will be on the menu at the Boathouse um, beginning September 13th, running through the end of October, October 24th. And simultaneously, it's going to be available in all the area grocery stores, uh, Deerberg, Schnooks, Straubs, um, as a bread that we're, that we're selling. And then you can make this item at home. So we're thrilled that Mark's been a part of this program with us. Actually, we're thrilled that Mark's been a customer of ours for the whole 17 years, that the bakery's been around. We have a great relationship. It's been a terrific friendship and collaboration. And this right here is the official muffalette. So thank you, sir. Thank we you really very much. Appreciate your time. Appreciate today. it.